We are just one year removed from Minshew Mania here in the NFL and Jacksonville Jaguars community and Gardner Minshew took the league by storm with his jorts, his mustache, his character, and most importantly, his play on the football field. And it's crazy to think that I'm even talking about this considering the fact that Gardner Minshew may not even be on the Jacksonville Jaguars roster in the 2021 NFL season. So let's stop wasting time and let's hop right into this video though. Fast forward to 2019, the Jacksonville Jaguars home opener week one is against the Kansas City Chiefs. I am at that game. It is packed and it is one of the most hot games I have ever been to as a Jacksonville Jaguars fan. And Nick Foles goes down in the first quarter of that game and Gardner Minshew steps in and Gardner Minshew plays phenomenally Even the Jags end up losing that game significantly. Gardner Minshew stepped his game up and showed what he can be and from there on his time with Minshew Mania in Jacksonville lived on. Fast forward to the 2020 NFL season and the Jacksonville Jaguars finished with the worst record in franchise history and Gardner Minshew is the starter. And now he's not the sole reason for a lot of the problems for why the Jags finished one in 15. If anything, he was still the best quarterback on the team. He was QB one, but he did end up helping us to get Trevor Lawrence with the number one overall pick. Gardner Minshew did not play to a standard even with injuries, but Gardner Minshew definitely was not the sole reason for many of the Jags problems last year. Doug Marone, Todd Wash, and a lot of injuries were a lot of the problems last year. And now that Trevor Lawrence has officially signed his four-year $36 million deal with $24 million of that guaranteed, Trevor Lawrence is officially on contract a Jacksonville Jaguar and he is going to be quarterback number one now Urban Meyer has wanted to downplay it saying that Trevor Lawrence is not ready and he doesn't expect him to be ready and that he's not guaranteed to be quarterback number one but everyone knows that he is going to be quarterback number one and now back to Minshew the Jags have two options that they can do with Gardner Minshew this year one they can keep him as the backup alongside CJ Beathard who they got from the San Francisco 49ers a solid backup quarterback who had six touchdowns and zero interceptions last season with the 49ers or they can go and trade Gardner Minshew. Now me personally, and it sucks to say, I believe the Jags should trade Gardner Minshew. Not because they're gonna get a lot out of him, but I believe Gardner Minshew is definitely starter material in the NFL. And there's definitely a couple jobs out there, like the Houston Texans, the Washington football team, probably a couple other teams out there that he could at least be the starter for, a couple bad teams out there. And then Gardner Minshew will have the opportunity to go and showcase his talents elsewhere, which is rightfully so because he's a young dude who's proven in the last two years that he can be a quarterback number one in the NFL, even though he has his ups and downs, and give him that opportunity. Not because he can't be the best backup quarterback here in Jacksonville, but the fact of the matter is you're going to be stunning this guy's growth and not giving him an opportunity. Now look, I would feel a lot more comfortable if Trevor Lawrence was to not play any game or if he was to get injured, God forbid, and Gardner Minshew came in and was the quarterback for the rest of the game. Minshew gives you an opportunity to win every single game at the quarterback helm as the backup. But nonetheless, he's such a young guy. And after everything that he's been through here in Jacksonville, with all the hype and all the support that he's got, I don't think it's fair to him to keep him underneath Trevor Lawrence. And I would rather go send him somewhere for a third round pick or a fourth round pick and give him an opportunity to go showcase his talents elsewhere. Hell, I would even send him to the Philadelphia Eagles get a third or fourth round pick and get Zach Ertz as well. Give up Minshew and acquire Zach Ertz in a pick. Or, you know, if the Jags need to give up a six round pick and, and Minshew to acquire Ertz and, you know, a fourth round pick, anything, you know, I will gladly take Zach Ertz and I will give them Gardner Minshew. Now, Jalen Hurts will be the starter in Philadelphia, but if that doesn't work out, Minshew is going to be a solid competition to get that job as well. So while Urban Meyer has made it very clear though that Gardner Minshew is here to stay as we speak right now, I'm not sure if by the 2021 53 man roster cut, Gardner Minshew is on the team. I don't think that he is gonna be on the team because I feel as if the Jags will end up trading him and keeping CJ Beathard as the backup. Jake Luton will probably be on the practice squad more than likely, even though the guy is straight garbage. The Jags could do a lot worse and just keep him and just hold his value spot when they could open up that roster spot for somebody else who's probably going to be more the deserving of that spot, at least in the secondary or somewhere else on the roster where they can fill that spot. As a Jags fan, it's very hard to make this video because everybody has to do tremendous love for Gardner Minshew. Of course, I'm repping my Gardner Minshew jersey. One of the most loved, hyped guys around the city. And this has been one of the most exciting two-year period I can recall in Jags history, not just because the Jags just went to the AFC Championship game back in 2018, or the fact of the matter is that the Jags have Trevor Lawrence now. There was just something in the air 
that everybody was riled up and excited for Gardner Minshew nonetheless. And it's sad to say that he may be on his way out. But we're going to have to wait and see see what goes on during the offseason, see what goes on during training camp, because he could probably beat out C.J. Beathard for that backup spot. We're just going to have to see what the front office thinks is best for Gardner Minshew and the future of this team moving forward. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know, do you guys think Gardner Minshew will be on the Jags roster in 2021? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe down below for more Jacksonville Jaguars and NBA content that I do here on YouTube as well. Make sure you guys go follow me on all my socials as well. I'll put those in the description down there below as well. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much. And I'm out, boys. Peace.